Hi everyone, this is Paris de Bono of The Fortune Teller Shop. And I thought I would tackle the tough questions today. The relationship between Donald Trump and Taylor Swift. So I'm going to do a spread from my Lenono book. It's going to be the Grand Tableau, which is the 20 card spread. And we're going to see how Taylor Swift and Donald Trump interact and who's going to win. So what we do is we use the cards. I'm going to use my yellow Lenono deck. Okay, let's shuffle. So the woman is going to be Taylor Swift and the man is Donald Trump. And we're going to see how they how they interact and what's going to happen next. Donald Trump said he hates Taylor Swift today. So it's really good to see that he's focusing on the uh, topics that really matter in the USA election. He hates Taylor Swift. Let's see what's going to happen. So when you feel ready, the way I do it now is you just shuffle. And then when, when you feel ready, you stop, you flip over. And the first card is the filter. So we have the clover. <clears throat> clover. And then you put out six in a row. And then another six underneath. And continue. So you have no cards. This is the Len Lenono Grand Tableau. We're using all the cards. We notice the first card is the Clovers and it's number three. One, two, three. Clover and love. Okay, so it's sort of saying luck, money, opportunity, emotions and love. Okay, so looks kind of pleasant so far. So we go... We get the uh, heart card is number six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we always start from the beginning again. Heart changes. Uh, the stalk can represent children, young people. So luck, love, young people, luck, love, changes. Number 16 is the stalk. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16. The stalk can also be new beginnings, stars. Wow, they've got really nice cards so far. Stars are hopes, dreams, aspirations. Uh, so the stars is number 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. The dreams and aspirations get blocked. So there's a sudden block now. Um, hmm, okay, let's keep going until we get either Donald Trump or Taylor Swift coming up in the cards. So the cross is 20, so that's 6, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. A peace offering. Okay, so Taylor Swift and Donald Trump. So there's luck. There's opportunity, there's money, there's love, there's emotions, there's young people, new beginnings, lots of traveling, um, lots of changes, stardom, fame, media, then something gets blocked, something negative, and then we've got a bit of a healing process that needs to happen. Now, we also can see star-crossed. This is a Paris pairing. Star-crossed means there was destiny involved. And then the cross lily also means a funeral or sorrow or sadness. A cross and then a lily. Now let's keep going. Lily has a mixed energy. Lily could be a good or bad card, depending what it's with. But because it follows the cross, it tends to be sorrow. And it tends to be talking about a funeral of some type or some ending so let's keep going. Number 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Ring commitment. Okay. 
So there's commitments, there's contracts. Number eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now there's Taylor. So Taylor's finally come through. So she's in the house of the ring. She's in position eight, which represents, um, the ring represents commitment. It could be marriage, but it could be to do with commitment as well. Now she's got the clover above her, luck and heart behind her, slightly behind her, um, above her as well. This is love. Okay, and she's in a very committed situation. She's in a house of commitment ring. So 15, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Taylor is feeling cut off or she's going to cut. She's either feeling cut off or she's going to cut off something. So let's see. Number 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Lion, power. So she's feeling cut off or she will cut off some power situation. Uh, number 19, 6, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Power and sun. Okay. So the sun represents light and seeing things clearly and the sun is number one and it goes back up to position one and the reading stopped so donald trump did not come out at all in this reading so this is all about taylor swift at this point so if i re-read it from the beginning it says taylor swift has luck and money she has love and support she has young people and new beginnings she has a lot of dreams and stars and hopes. Her destiny is being connected to this situation. And she also may feel kind of blocked. Now, then we go to sorrow. So she's going to have sorrow, feel sorrow, feel disconnected about the situation. Um, now, there could be a sense of mourning, kind of feeling sad about something. Uh, and then it goes to her commitment and then it shows that she is committed, although she may be dealing with sharp objects, difficult people. I would also, I would also think there could possibly be death threats against her as well, because this, this can often mean death, these two, and this could be a threat. And then it shows she's going to feel cut off from powerful people in some way, or she's going to cut power away from her and this is what's so so now what we do is because donald trump is still in the cards that have not flipped we have to, we need to go to the position of the man which is 14 so we go to 14 now to see what's happening in donald trump's house anchor so he's going to remain steady and steadfast and sometimes the anchor could mean stubborn because it's stuck stuck in the past stuck in his ways so then we Continue with the anchors number four. One, two, three, four. The past. The moon is the past and moods. The moon is number two. One, two. Snake. So there's a lot of toxic past. So it shows Donald Trump is stable but stuck in the past. He has a foundation and a base. There's a lot of emotions and moods. The moods are toxic. Okay, number seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Key, this is, this is the way he operates, the key. Okay, the key is 11, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. And Fox, he's pretty foxy, he's smart, he uses Fox News as well. He's quite savvy and uh, in the way he survives, 17, so that's 6, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and there he is there, he's in the house of the fox, so he's in the house of the fox, which means that he is quite smart and savvy, he's got a fox on top of his head, he's disengaging from Taylor, 
They are turning away from each other. He's looking that way, she's looking that way. She has very nice cards around her in general, except the snake. Snake above her could mean enemies or sabotage, but she does have the key. He does not have cards in front of him that are opening. So the man is 14. If we count 14, it goes back to the anchor position, this position here. So he's got mystery cards in front of him and above him too. So she, Taylor is one level above him as well. So it looks like she's turning her back on powerful negative enemies, people that are tricky. So yeah, it's a bit of a weird combination. There's not a lot of connection here that I'm seeing. Now, the other thing I would do is sometimes I would just look and see what's in front of him because these cards did not flip. So let's just see what's in front of him. Clouds. So he's he's looking into clouds, which means he does not know where he's going. Let's just see what's above that. Birds, his messages. So the way he communicates birds and letter is cloudy and confusing. That could be him tweeting and sending out messages. And the last card that didn't flip is the mice, which shows some sort of uh, weakness or um, toxic energy. The mice often can also mean something that is um, contaminated. So basically it's showing him looking into the clouds. He's quite smart. His communication is is savvy and sly, but cloudy. He's not sure where he's going. Seems like Taylor's just going to do her own thing and not really engage with him too much. I think she's going to engage more with her own following. I think she will get attacks because the snake is above her. And I do believe that there's going to be some threats against her. I mean, maybe there has been that we just don't know about because... The cross and the stars can mean um, sort of like a karmic lesson. And then when the cross connects over to the lily, that could also mean sorrow. Okay, so this is Paris de Bono of the Fortune Teller Shop. And that was a Lenono Grand Tableau reading.